Wednesday, August 7th, 2019, 6.03 p.m., calling the Lakeville Board of Health meeting to order. Is there anyone recording this other than the Board of Health and Lake Cam? I see no one. First on the agenda, 66 County Street, betterment approval. Kevin, you wanna just Yeah, so just to, just to finalize the paperwork to get sent off to Coberman and Page. Uh, the show, Lori's prepared everything, the application is complete, and I, I believe the amount is $42,810. I'll make a motion we approve the betterment at 66 County Street for $42,810. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Nothing in this pack that we need to sign, correct? Just I think that was it. Okay. I'll wait till you guys know what next one's triple week. Go ahead. We can talk about it. Next on the agenda, Triple E Mosquito, Tom Property Closing at Dusk Discussion. Kevin, I'll let you update the board on yep. that one also. So, uh, as you know, everyone knows, um, Lakeville and other areas too, but Lakeville's at a high risk for triple E. Uh, we've been receiving notifications from the state continuously. We've been posting this information out. I've kept the board up to date. Uh, I've seen some correspondence back. Um, according to the state, they had said they strongly recommend um, or strongly encourage um, rescheduling activities and, and um, or postponing things. And they, they consider it a, at high risk, so they consider it as serious. Um, because we, we knew we were going to have it at this meeting, and instead of calling an emergency meeting, I went with the, uh, we, we talked to the town administrator um, and got in contact with the parks department, and it was determined to uh, close the parks. Um, and it just says here, well, we have, we have a flyer here. And we posted it everywhere, and it's pretty much between dusk and dawn where uh, mosquitoes are more active, or most active. Um, with the continuous um, alerts, we just got another one this week, and we posted that as well. They're going to be doing aerial spraying tomorrow evening. Um, there's uh, frequently asked questions, stuff on uh, information on our um, website. All the all the stuff's on there. Uh, if you have questions, you can always call our office. Um, there's numbers there to call um, the State Department or the DP DPH. Uh, and I can actually just read out one number and to alleviate some of the calls from us. I think I had it here. Oh, nice. That's the state number? In the press releases, there were links to yeah. Mass Department of Public Health and uh, Mass Department of Agriculture <coughs> for all the information on the the time they're spraying, the days, Obviously, the from type, now. the towns, whether it's full coverage of the town, partial coverage of the town, um, the type of chemical they're using. Yeah, it's actually it's part chemical, part all natural. It's actually a different, a little bit different, I think, than years past when they've sprayed and, the and that's all on here um, so it actually yeah. tells you what the chemical is um so a lot of the questions we got today were what about my fish ponds it actually says to cover your fish ponds uh, but then it does it does say public drinking waters are obviously not probably going right over it but they're they're not going to be affected um they're saying that it's not a health risk for this but they actually saying limit your time you're supposed to be limiting your time outdoors anyways during these times unless you're really protected um, but it's all good information. It tells you... you wear long sleeves if you have to go Yeah, out, e exactly pants. what the chemical is, and, you, and there's no, no effects. Um, 
You know, this has been going on for years. And <clears throat> when Kevin sent us the thing last week, I just sent back an email. I couldn't send it to everyone because it's against the law. But I said, I have your back. Just shut the stuff down because it has to get shut down. So, I mean, going forward, I want to let them know that we don't need to have a meeting. Once the state says that stuff should be shut down, just shut it down. We don't need, that's our decision. That doesn't have to go upstairs, doesn't got to go to selectmen, doesn't have to go to anybody else in this building but us. And when we get an alert like that, just shut the stuff down. And then we can ratify it at our next meeting. But we can't have this stuff open for an extra week or 10 days because we haven't had a meeting and, and let the kids out there. That's my opinion. I just wanted to run that by you guys. And that came from the state at high risk. It said yeah. specifically, I read yeah. the state. The yeah, exactly. Yeah. The last time. So it was that was this like high. a no brainer. That was just like shut they, the they stuff actually, down. Yeah, today. they actually said like this Tripoli is a rare but, but serious, potentially fatal disease that can affect both people, affect people of all ages. No human case of Tripoli have been detected so far this year. Um, so they were saying that it's. it's well, the last time was serious. 2012, 2013 ish. It was this bad. Yeah, this early. Like, a young boy in two the Cabra and Middleborough yeah. passed away. So, yeah, it, no, just I shut agree it with down. you. Just shut it down. Right. And, um, and, if so you, and if you want a motion to feel good about it, I'll make a motion that next time in all future years coming, the Board of Health voted to shut it down immediately upon getting that notification. From the state. Yeah. Not to wait for a meeting, in that we'll let the next meeting ratify that decision. Um, one good thing is Haunted House is done. Yeah, good. They haven't paid us for years. Screw them. I heard that they're not doing it this year, so that good. makes the things a little easier. They stepped the now town for probably 20, 30 grand, so screw them. I'm glad they don't come back. The last year? Yeah. Now, how does it affect the schools? I mean, just their phone number. Because that's also town. Well, I told them to tell the schools, too. So they I don't know what happened okay. with that. I'm sure they're aware of it. So... One other thing I wanted to add, too, with um, especially whoever is watching, um, so the area spraying is going to start tomorrow night. <clears throat> we don't know specifically what towns. It's going to be several days in all weather, weather permitting, too. Yeah. Um, the other thing is, is, as this stuff was coming to us, there was rumblings I heard among you know, social media and all that stuff that um, people weren't finding out quick enough that this stuff was going on in town. Um, all residents can go to our town website and register to get email updates from the Board of Health, any board in town. Um, stuff's posted on the website. There's plenty of places to find it. I mean, it was posted it on that, social media. The, the news all stations, the places. Yeah. yeah. We were so, on Channel 5 yeah. last week. Yeah. Crying out loud. So the coverage is very thorough. Um, you just got to look for it. Um, and this time of year, I mean, everyone, if you've lived in this area for a long time, you know it's coming. Yeah. So. Um, I have a few numbers for some weird reason. Can't find the rest of them here. But there's one, 617-624-5006. Yeah, as soon as we were notified, we, we posted it. It actually says that they, they weather permitting, but um, they'll start tomorrow evening, and they could go for several evenings. Yeah. And they're doing all of Lakeville? They're doing all of Lakeville. All People of Lakeville. asking, are they doing spots? They only do the spot areas where they can't <coughs> go with a truck. So if they can only go on certain roads, and some people are 400 feet in, they're not going to go in your driveway. But they only go on certain roads. This will cover everything. And the, the only, it's good and bad. They're, they're going to cover the whole area because Freetown is also on a high alert. So they're not going to. So they're going to pretty much hit, hit everybody. I, I believe Berkeley's on the high alert. There was 22 um, towns that were complete coverage. So everybody around us is like pretty on the high alert. 15 towns that were a Middleborough. Yeah. But it's a huge area. That's why it's going to take a couple days to do it. Multiple yeah. planes. So we've got a. A lot of calls, but they can always call the Questions. state of well, the state. And then these have a lot of answers on here. They pretty much, says, what is Triple E? When is aerial spraying um, considered? How is aerial spraying conducted? What pesticide products are being used? Are there precautions should I take if spraying will occur in my area? Are there any health impacts associated associated with the exposure of it's called Anvil 10 plus 10? This product. Is there a risk to drinking water sources? How do I con how do who do I contact to learn more about the aerial spraying? And here's those numbers again. 617-626-1700 or 617-983-6800. And then there's one more, 617-626-1777. So <clears throat> and then for everyone, I just got this little flyer, I posted it as well. Always remember, um, 
the three D's of protection is drain, so you want to make sure your yard doesn't have standing water or anything you can help with this. Uh, dress appropriately if you, at, you know, it's, it's kind of tough because one of the hottest summers, but at times long sleeve shirts or pants um, if you can and defend yourself with the sprays, uh, proof sprays. And limit your time. If you know you're going to go have a function yourself at dusk, that's after 8 right now, or 8 o'clock, see if you're going to reschedule earlier. There's still mosquitoes around during the day. And, yeah, they're out. But yeah, it's kind of tough because like we're all in the same boat because we're out there and as, as, as long as we protect ourselves and we, we're, we're, nobody wants anybody to get hurt, so. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Any discussion? Do you want to do it? Yeah, you want to vote, vote on that? That's, um, oh, well, yeah, I need a motion, so just second it. Second. <laughs> Any discussion? Yeah. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I don't even think we needed to. For public health, we don't even need to vote on that stuff, so but we might as well do it now. So, <clears> so we had a motion for you, Kevin. Keys uh, and thank you. And if it, one, you get, if that, you get alerted from the state, okay. you have, and then we'll just ratify it. Normally when it's high, because moderate, they said hold off. Correct, just on a moment. When it gets high, high obviously, high critical, risk. high critical, is we're in danger, yeah? Okay. Next on the agenda, discuss Challenger Sports Soccer Camp, held August 5th through August 9th at Ted Williams Camp. Um, so this, this is a um, sports camp. Uh, it's run this week. Uh, they were a little late showing up with their uh, finishing their paperwork, and uh, um, but we've had them in a couple of years past. Um, I think my last count there was 64 kids on Monday, um, and they had the, the amount. They had to have a certain amount of so it's 10 to 1 ratio. You have to have per uh, per camp or council. They so they met met that requirement. They have a bunch of requirements to meet. Uh, they. Um, I made them, during the inspection, just get more water. They had, uh, they actually had their water stored in a vehicle, so it doesn't help anybody in case somebody spilled their drink or whatever it was. So they got, they went out there and uh, got some, uh, I think they went right here. Saab has got some uh, disposable coolers, yeah. ice and drinks, and it was pretty hard out there. So we want to make sure that all kids are safe at all times. They had enough canopies, shade, um, and then they can use the shaded area off to the side. So it looks good, and the kids were having fun, so that's all that matters. So we just need to approve the Yeah, and the thing is, with our, um, I can approve existing ones, but we had, remember I said, for new establishments, as long as everything was in order, I do the inspection, but the board approves all new establishments. Okay. I just want you to, I'm fine with this, but I just want you to check with the Parks Department, because in 10 years, and my kids have gone to baseball camps, soccer camps, softball camps, um, I know there was a for-profit guy that was running one for the whole summer. I don't know if he still does it yeah. or not there. And I've never voted on one of these or done nothing. So I, I'm all about it being fair for everybody. I really think, I think you have for the... Have to do it. I think even when I my daughter was in a fall ball league, yeah. I could sit there, watch her, but I couldn't go on the field. Yeah. Even though I was quarried, I used to be a foster parent. I was quarried already because I wasn't part of, only those people were quarried, and that was a private thing. These, oh no, these, these are, are all, no, the, this is, you drop your kid off, you give them money, they go pick up subs for them at lunch and yeah. feed them, and yeah. that's been going on at the camp, at, at John Pond and Ted Williams for Because I looked it up, there's, there's day camps and there's the sports camp, I just looked it up right now. Yeah. So I think under your recommendation then, just check with the Parks Department that they're not renting this out to any other camps, other camps. Yeah, okay. pulling a permit. I think is what yeah, we're, either, I mean, I, either we're obligated. Yeah, everybody to do it. This one right. person, even though it's only 10 bucks, shouldn't be the only one in town right. that has this to do it. This came up last year, too, right? Yes, we all issued this last I must year. Have it was the year before, I think. I don't think they showed up yeah. last year. No, not this should. particular one. There was another camp over there, wasn't there? Yeah. And I remember I've done before. basketball camps where they drove Yeah, away. so I think on Bob's yeah. point, just... Okay, to make I, sure that... But there's stuff going on over there. Maybe they don't know they need a permit. There's stuff going over there the whole summer. I mean, like I, all I, some of the stuff going on. I can on. imagine, yeah. And then the Board of Health, it says what? Yeah, it says we're supposed to inspect. It actually says, for Is just a sports right camp. Or state -like, right? It's a state one. It's a yes, CMR 430, and I'm reading under 20, the definitions. Sports camp is, means a program which meets the definition of recreational camp and children, has a primary focus of one or more sports activities, operates on a site of more than two hours, but less than 24 hours a day, and operates at least four days during a 14 consecutive calendar day period city in a city or town. Yeah, so, there's, so there's a lot of those. Huh? Yeah. 
So and that's just the sports camp. Yeah, day camps. You should, yeah. should do it to all of them. That's all I'm saying. All right, definitely. Okay. I'll follow up on that. Sorry, we, yeah, we have yeah. to move the uh, make, make a motion we approve Challenger Sports Soccer Camp. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, what happened with Clark Shores? All right, so we had our meeting. Um, there was like 25 or 30 people there, our residents at Clark Shores. Nate uh, also was there to answer some questions. I think it was very informal. I gave him... Uh, I really, we explained the change of use application. We explained that that new form we did when it came to uh, um, what, what do we call that? The, the acknowledgement, the failure acknowledgement. So we went through the, all the steps uh, when it came to you need either a certificate of compliance, a seasonal deed restriction, a passing or failing Title Five, and the uh, um, and the letter or letter of confirmation. Uh, we took a bunch of questions. We answered them all. But there was two questions I wanted to pass along to the board. Um, first one was, well, some people were asking, and hopefully it's, hopefully the, well, they know, I know they still have to record the deed as a seasonal, but they were saying, how long is the season? What about if I'm there in the summer and I take off, but then I want to show up for Christmas time with my family? What is considered a season? They won't have water. They don't have water at seasonal. Yeah, and I had told them and not year round. And they can't get their water turned on in the winter, so yeah. that answers it, right? Yeah, I had told them not year round, but they were like, they can't well, be, now they can they just can't turn the valve, right? When they, no, because that's supposed to get shut off to those people. So, and the valve's four feet down, so I mean, you, you yeah. need a special wrench to get yeah. to it. If the yeah. it's the season that they supply the water or not, and if the people are going to supply it in December, then they got to be year round. They're, they're not going to start going around us. Saying, "Oh, I was only there that week that you caught That's me." That's what I'm saying. No, That's so, what it's asking the, it's, so it's the whatever time a year that they're going to shut it off in the fall till they turn it back on in the spring. Nobody can be there in the winter that's not on year-round water. Okay, so I'm going to throw it back on them and say, "What the when you're going to turn this off?" Yeah, with, and they with agreed the to turn it off, off, right? Yeah. They did, they, and they I had said that to them. Yeah. I said, yeah. "When is your season?" And they were kind of like, "Well, what about if they want to come down for?" No, like, no, yes. no, what ifs? Yeah, the same question came up when they were here. Yeah, and they're trying to go around us now. And just say to them, well, what was your season last year with seasonal water? When did you shut it off? Well, that's your same season. That's it. Done. That's a good point. And if they want to, and if they want to be on year round, we have ways they can be year round. But they're not going to start going around us now. So it should be pretty much the same season it was before. Whatever it was. From April to October. Yeah. Done. You know, whenever it gets shut down, the water gets turned off. And I mean, they're more than able to go year round. We're allowed. Any, yeah. Anybody watching, they can they're go year round. It's weird because they're going to be required. Anyway. Five. And yeah. that's probably what a lot of them don't want to... Yeah. 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 And they're trying to find ways to weasel around it, and we're not. That's it. The, the other question was, and thank you for that. And, the and other again, question, on that also, yeah, it'd be no change. It's not like it would change, because they're on season, like it turned off. Yeah. So they're just staying the same. And they would it's actually not like record we're, it. Yeah. yeah. We're doing so, so they wouldn't have been able to go there on Christmas the year before and have water. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So nothing has changed. And, and we're going to know, because uh, like I had mentioned, on the application, it's going to say their name, address, but then address to be upgraded. It's got to be different right. if they're truly seasonal. Yeah. It can't be the same address. No. And we're not just there. We can drive through there in November now. Before, we, we all used to kind of look the other way because we didn't want to condemn homes yeah. and throw people out. But now we gave them. There's no more of that. Yeah. And I, I told, I told drive, the room full of people. I don't care if you drive through there with a list and start yeah. saying, going right up to the door and saying, you're not supposed to be yeah. there. I told a list of, you know, a group full of people that yeah. those water tanks are no, no longer. No. They will look the, kind of look the other way. Yeah. Um, um, because as we were working through this, but they, yeah. they, they no longer can be allowed. No. Well, we're they were not, never allowed anyways. We're but. not trying to push hardships on anyone either. I mean, with the overall part of this is to improve the water quality down yeah. there and up the pond and, you know, whatever else could be yeah. affected by these failing systems down there. It's, it's, it's for their own benefit as a, as a whole and for the neighborhood and for everyone that uses yeah, the, pond. the pond. Yes. And I think you're going to get a few... Seasonal, but everybody else is in pretty good situation. Like a lot of people, these tight tanks, they're, they're already kind of already did the inspections. Right? Yeah. They do them every year, so they are actually ahead of the game. Yeah, now we're inspecting annually. Yeah, the they're, they're tie Nothing's in. Going they'll the tie ground. in. They actually can make it. So you don't have all these variances. You know, yeah, twelve variances on every property down there. So and then the next question. Oh, so the other question was. Um, so they had, somebody had said. If, if somebody already has their own well, 
So they, they have a septic and well already, and they want to tie in to a to the water coming down the road. The question was, do they have to do a Title V? I didn't think so, but I had thought, what about a cesspool? But that... Um, on that one, I believe, I think I agree with you on that, yeah. as you don't need to because it's not a change in use. They already have a well, they already have a septic. So they're not going from yeah. seasonal to year round. Yeah. And then I, they're already pre existing, so all you're doing is tying into town water. And it's true, and I think Title V only states that for recommendation when you when you transfer a property, or our regs say when you change in use, use. raise and rebuild, all yeah. those things that would trigger this That's is really five. just yeah. switching from water. They're not so changing. It's not use. a seasonal property, yeah. it's not so they wouldn't need it. Oh, it's like when they run the town water down the streets, and we don't, you don't make everybody it. go do title cards and condemn the houses. That was his no. I, I, I said the same thing there. I said I don't think so. Yeah. But again, I want—I don't want to speak for everyone. Yeah. Well, the only thing with that would be they got to prove that it's a viable well. I would think because we've encountered some people like, "Oh, look, there's a well," and we're like, "Man, nah, it's not really a well." You know what I mean? But they—they want they to be the theirs and go into the water i yeah. know but we don't want people to try and like oh look i had a well here the yeah but we have a list of the seasonal people before so if they weren't getting seasonal water before then they had to have a well that worked good enough for them to live there yeah right yeah they would have to have a yeah. well if they weren't getting seasonal water before whatever well they have no matter what we think if it was working for them that they were able to use it well we've had people say that there was an existing well trying to get a new one no, oh, but I'm saying I, don't, I just don't want them to say, "Hey, for, I had this well." No, I'm saying if for ten years they were never hooked up to the seasonal water, they were getting water from somewhere. Yes, sure. So whatever crappy pipe they might have in the ground, I mean, if they were using the water out of it, they had it, and they've been living there. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think if they weren't thinking about the ones that don't have the right. seasonal. They said they had, and, you know, they may have a tank. And they had this old thing that they say is a well. But they were on and the that list. That may be a they, way around. But they were on the list before, though. They were on the seasonal water list. They only had the tanks in the summer. In the winter. In the winter. Okay. I mean. In the winter. The rest they were on seasonal water. Yeah. So right. we know all of those. Okay. Yeah. 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 Just so think of that. That one that he's trying to get around and do. Yeah, a saying that there was some old pipe that in his shed. It's kind of stuff. better because. I would, I'd want them to tie in because now instead of that small tie. lot yeah. to have I both don't want to nitrogen have sensitive, tie in. they might have a shallow well with an iffy system. You know, and because uh, there's already a cost for tying in, and yeah, you now even some newer systems fail Title Five. They do, even the new ones. They just they're still working. But I mean, we want everybody encouraged to get on that because if there's one person in our neighborhood that doesn't hook up to it there's still one well there that probably affects 10 houses when they want to put a septic in. Yeah. So we want to encourage everybody to hook yeah. up because then anybody can upgrade a septic right. system. Right. So, so having that few random people with a well in the middle of 10 houses Let them tie in. drive circles around right. it, there's nothing you can do. I agree. So. Just, and it's not uh, a change in use. It's mm -hmm. not a building yeah. permit. It doesn't fall into why you need a Title V. Yeah. Only if it was seasonal yeah. is when it triggers the change in use. Okay, and that's all I had for that. Okay, next on the agenda. Uh, we under the change in use regulations, this form here. Yeah, I, I can go into detail. Um, I thought we already update. voted on all this stuff. We did, it just, um, I'll just elaborate. When, uh, so I, that, at this last meeting with the, at the Clark Shores, I gave them, um, all those things that I showed you, the uh, change in use application, the um, you can record that you have a fail system already, and it, that triggers our letter. And uh, they were asking me, the people from Clark Shores, what about the regulation? And actually our our application says, I'm really losing everything today. Oh, this part. So the change in use application says, a complete copy of the change in use regulation was provided to the applicant and I check it off. Well, the thing was, I just wanted to clean it up. This is more of a housekeeping thing. Uh, our regulations without this last page just says that you have to notify your buddies and all that stuff. I know the board agreed that I can do it. Um, so we just actually put it in there. In writing. In writing. So whoever gets this regulation, it's just a, it just a change, a change to this regulation. It just says amendment to change in use of regulation from 417 Board of Health meeting. Change in use applications due to public water service. We only said, because of because we beat this thing to death, and we said 
because of only public water. If anybody else had this problem, we could still have the public hearing. Um, can be reviewed and approved by a health agent. A public hearing and a budget notification is not required. See attached meeting minutes, and if you guys sign it, it just cleans it up because if I would have gave that to him that day, I know it would have been like, a butters, where do we have to? No, I'd be like, no, no, no. Back in April, we changed it. It's just confusing. This way, well, it's just to add an amendment to it. They, it's cleaner. They see the whole thing. Because we right? didn't want them to notify just to tie into water. We're trying to yeah. make it easier for them. Yeah, yeah and I, I, I did tell them, yeah, I said, I don't have a copy of that. I, I'm going to have my board sign off saying that just to give you a clean copy instead of confusing people. We're not here to confuse people. Okay, I'll find what I read through it. Yeah. It's pretty much what you guys voted. Yep. You already voted on so Yeah, that's sign. what I mean. I thought we voted for it. So we're just going to, this is just adding the paper to the. Yeah, it's just yeah. ratifying the. So we don't, do we don't even need to take a vote. We're just going to sign this and keep yeah, it in if there? You, if you approve, yeah. Because this has already been voted on yeah. at the meeting. Well, technically, I, I would I would make a motion of one yeah. of you guys because the only thing is you guys talked about it and, every, and I was watching it and everybody's agreeing like this. Okay. But nobody actually made a formal motion. Okay. Make, Make a, motion. a motion to add the amendment to the change of use regulations from our April 17th, 2019 Board of Health meeting. Second it. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Do you want us to sign one of these? Do you have one? Yeah, you can sign this one. And the last thing when it comes to this is uh, we've actually done one already completed, and here's another four. I'll just keep you updated since it's on the meeting. These last three are pretty easy. Um, and we already kind of talked about it, Derek and I, uh, offline. Um, I had I had thought if if there was a specific vote with the with the board, the previous board said um, because of the property seasonal, and they made that part of their motion, then I think I'd bring it before the board. Would you agree? So if the board voted, this house has to remain two bedroom, and they they approved it. They approved it because of its only seasonal use, meaning, oh yeah, I, the decision was based on the house not getting enough flow all year. Then I think it should go before the board. Because that's because it didn't have water. At least in it affected. In ten other years, I've, in ten years, I've never voted because they weren't going to flush the toilet all year because they didn't have yeah. water all year. And that's, that's what Nate was talking about too. He just said, he goes, when you go through the files, Kevin, if if and. And I agree too. He goes, if you find something, because I'm, I'm just checking, making sure everything's on the up and up. If you find something that only specifically says they made that decision because of that, Do then that's when you should probably bring that one before the board. Because it affected other area wells, yeah. so you let them put in a system. I don't know if that even exists. But if but it if, comes up? Yeah, but if it comes up where the houses were so close and they said, oh, our decision's based on, we'll allow you to do that, because they're not getting flow all year long. In 10 years, I've never done that. So, so I'll bring one here that, from 10 years, because yeah. I don't even think that would be legal to do that. We, you can contaminate your neighbor six months a year, but you can't the other six months a year. Yeah, that's a good I point. can't imagine anybody voted that's for I that. know, why would they even do that? Yeah. So I guess it was based, I mean, based on the decision. So I guess if you come, if you do see something in the file. That says they were based on. But I don't know of any, like yeah. you said, I, no. don't, I don't know of any. It's but either safe or it's not safe. I mean, you're limited because it didn't have water or whatever. But right, so why would it be safe? Yeah, you wouldn't say, that? oh, that septic well is contaminating the well, but you can do it six months a year, but you can't do it all yeah. year. Right. I never voted for that, so I know in 10 years we don't have to bring any back. Perfect. I can't imagine okay. anybody in their right mind would say that. I think it was more talking about if it was based, like really based on the decision. I don't know. Well, if you say anything, do you question? Yeah, I, have a I just don't want to fumble. I'm curious and how do something close we're getting right? to like almost every house is in line with some kind of either seasonal or year-round and up to code. You know. Like you said, a lot of them might be skipping if they have wells. That probably yeah. well, I'd be there's curious lot, how close we are to like the, the yeah. big. Well, believe it or not, there's a lot of them don't even have the word seasonal on their re restriction. No deed restriction. No. We know they're seasonal because that's seasonal. Because water. of our based on what we. Right. Our definition, and and that's how we're moving that way. But a lot of people are like, oh, I don't even have to touch my deed. Why do I have to do this? Yeah. But that's why you stop. Well, no, it. none of the shows had seasonal restrictions because they didn't have water all year, so they were automatic. Default no. But seasonal. I'm curious how close we're getting to where we're not going to have anyone living illegally. You know what I mean? Uh, I think we're always away from that. But little by little, it's getting. You think, you think we're under 100? Nope. 
No? Is that many cisterns or whatever down there? Oh, yeah. You ever driven around there? I have, but it's slowly and looked. I thought try, try our knock of plants was like a hundred and something. Drive around in November with the list, and then tell me what you think. So far, so far, I've gone. Uh, we've gone rid of three. Um, There's still water a lot tanks. of cesspools too. I think that's what you're talking about, right? Not yeah. just well, I mean, I know that's tanks, but too, cesspools. But There's still a ton of them in there. Yeah, that ever in failure. Yeah, but then we've had uh, a lot of repairs, a lot of abandonments, yeah. and a lot, yeah, of a lot of stuff. I mean, we just did another two on DL Street. Slow little. Yeah. We'll get everyone, there, no. everyone that gets fixed is one less. One more, one yeah. in the wind column. That's how I always looked at it. I'd rather right. have one 80% better than failure. Yeah. That's all I don't I mean we're get. chipping away at it. Oh, yeah. It's good. Nice that's, that's all I have. Okay. <laughs> Next on the agenda is review and approve Board of Health meeting minutes from July 17, 2019. House tight. I have no problems with it. I'm good. All three were present. I'll make a motion we approve the minutes as typed. Second. <coughs> Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any announcements or anything? And uh, We just did it. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's just the last thing on my list. Oh. Anything else? Motion. Motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.